Well, greetings and salutations, everybody. Welcome back to another great movie review for The Eric Sapero Show. Coming to you from right here on my YouTube channel. And right now, Sabrina and I, we just got home from the movie theaters. We just went to go watch Marvel Studios' brand new film, Deadpool and Wolverine. So we went to go see this movie twice over the weekend. We had such an amazing time at the movie theaters. We had such an amazing crowd. And uh, we haven't had a good crowd like this in such a long time, especially for a Marvel film. Like, this was the event that we've all been waiting for since we first saw the teaser trailer during the Super Bowl for Deadpool and Wolverine. And finally, when that day came, like, it was going to uh, an event, like, uh, a boxing match main event. And I feel like with Deadpool and Wolverine was the main event boxing match, and they just delivered it. And, and again, we had such an amazing time at the movie theaters, and I really want to go see this movie again for, like, a third time, fourth time fifth time like as many times as I, as I can go see this movie so uh to start off the on-screen chemistry between uh Hugh Jackman and Ryan Reynolds was amazing I love their on-screen chemistry together especially they landed of the comedic jokes perfectly especially at the right timing um the fight sequences with the both between uh Hugh and Ryan was absolutely amazing a lot of great cin uh, cinematography shots and the action fighting sequences was just great um now uh emma cor um, i'm sorry um emily corin who played cassandra nova she did an amazing job as the villain i loved her she was a great villain and and let me tell you something marvel studios they don't have such a good track record on their villains but i feel like uh emily corin was a great Cassandra Nova. I loved seeing her on screen as uh, Cassandra Nova. She did an amazing job. Uh, director Sean Levy did a, a, a fantastic job directing this film and doing great storytelling, which is something that we have not seen in a long time. And I'm glad Sean Levy took the charge to, to direct this movie and he did a fantastic job and he just delivered it. He delivered it. Uh, now, the cameo scenes was just... Oh my God, surprisingly good. There were a couple of good cameos that I was like, like my jaw dropped to the ground. And I can't tell you who showed up. I cannot tell you. I wish I could. I wish I could. But if you want to find out what were the cameos in the movie, you just got to go buy your tickets and go watch Deadpool and Wolverine. But the cameos uh, that were in the movie, they each had its purpose to push the story along. And that's why I liked it. It wasn't a cameo where, where it was like, hey, I'm here for three seconds. I'm gone. Bye-bye. It was never like that. Again, I like what this movie did with the cameos. They pushed it along with the good story that was happening. Um, now, the sto now, the score that I'm going to give you for this movie, it had great story, great comedy. Oh, and I almost forgot to tell you guys, uh, this movie had a lot of... Um, gory scenes just to let you all know um and at the same time with this movie and especially seeing um as you guys have seen the trailer there were a lot of uh marvel fox um characters uh this movie was like writing a love letter to all the fox characters that we've seen in the early 2000s especially with um the the original all just the x-men movies it was like writing a love letter and just seeing them on screen again was it was amazing and seeing those characters one more time it was like me being the old me being like the eight-year-old Eric watching the X-Men movies in theaters and seeing them on the big screen for the first time and then now I'm 31 years old going on 32 seeing them again one more time it was it was great it was great that I love what Marvel did with the Fox characters was writing a love uh, a love note to them saying you know you guys were amazing Thank you for being great uh, X-Men characters. Now, the, sc uh, the score I'm going to give for this movie, I had nothing bad to say about this movie at all because, again, it was perfect. I loved it. The crowd loved it. I had such an amazing time at the movie theaters. I'm going to give Deadpool and Wolverine a perfect 10 out of 10. This movie was amazing. And I'm just going to tell you guys again one more time. If you have not yet bought your tickets for Deadpool and Wolverine, please go watch it as soon as possible. And I'm telling you guys, this is a movie worth watching twice. And all right, guys. Well, that'll do it for this awesome movie review for The Eric Sapero Show. Thank you all for watching this awesome movie review. And thank you for making this video as a part of your day. If you're new to the channel and you're watching this awesome movie review, please 
hit that red subscribe button and please be sure to hit the notification bell for when you get notified a brand new episode of the Eric Sapera Show is up and running for your viewing pleasure. And please select all notifications so you never miss another episode of the show. For TECS, this is Eric Sapero signing out saying, the future is whatever you make it, so make it a good one.